Shabbat shalom, everyone. I hope you're doing well. This week's Parsha is Vayikra. Um, and famously, Vayikra is the name of one of our books of the Torah, and that is Leviticus. So again, the first book of the Torah is Genesis Bereshit. The second book of the Torah is Exodus Shemot. And the third book of the Torah is Vayikra. Uh, they, these Hebrew names are taken from essentially the first significant word in the beginning of these books. In English, however, we call the books based on like the main event that happens, but in Hebrew, it's the first significant word. So Vayikra means, and he called, and this is God calling Moshe, and it's God uh, instructing Moshe on how the Jewish people should do korbanot, should do sacrifices. Um, and famously in the Torah, um, Vayikra is written with an aleph um, at the end, and it is famously a small little aleph. And there are, there's all these explanations that God wanted to, you know, write Vayikar, that, that God called Moshe with tenderness. Vayikar is like a little more close. And Moshe was embarrassed and said, no, 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 do Vayikra. And God was like, fine, but I'm going to do a small Aleph just to prove how special and wonderful you are. Um, and so that's and when you look in the Torah, a little tiny Aleph. So in the Parsha, like I said, it's all about korbanot sacrifices that Jewish people are told to bring um, to the temple to, to make. Um, and there's an interesting comment literally at the very, very beginning when it says um, that, you know, Vayikra Moshe, that, that God called Moshe. There's a commentary by Rashi or by Shlomo Yitzchaki, our preeminent Torah commentator. Um, and he says, it wasn't like Moshe had a private meeting with God. This was a um, this was during, um, there was just people around there's the comment, the comment says that, yeah, there were people around and, uh, what this teaches us is that Moshe had a, a way to spiritually tune into God's voice. And that all of those who were around, if they had the ability and if they had the, um, the talent to tune into God's voice could hear it as well. And so it kind of brings up this interesting, um, idea of hearing God's voice in our, in our lives. Um, and there's a few different ways that we can try to do that more. So the first one is to, to, um, minimize external noise. So I am known to really hate long walks on Shabbat by myself because I hate being alone with my thoughts. Like I just, I don't know what it is. I just like, I'm like, say it's so bored. So what I have to do is like, I will literally, I did this last week that I just started from the beginning of the musical Hamilton, just start at the beginning um and try to recall all the lyrics that I possibly could because I cannot stand just to like listen to my own thoughts and I need to get over that I need to change that um but the idea is that even on time you know we, we should we should always want to be alone with our thoughts and to actually you know try, try to minimize these external noise um and then the second part is to minimize internal noise so to change our negative thoughts every time we have a thought like oh I'm so bad at managing my time or oh I'm so irresponsible instead of saying oh I'm this you can say, you know, something that's more positive, like, oh, I didn't manage my time well today, but I can do better tomorrow. Just like speaking to ourselves internally better can help us to tune in to God's voice should we hear it. Um, and the other thing is just to be paying attention. I think that it's so important that we are are looking in our day-to-day -day lives for special for special miracles and things. We're If we're looking for the miracles, we're able to see them. And some say that if you're looking for them, that's why you're seeing them. I say that it's only those who look for them that receive them. Um, so that is the book of Vaikra, the first Parsha in this um, in this first portion of the book of this Torah. Um, and also we're, we're in the beginning of the month of Nisan, the first month, the first month that we are commanded to celebrate Rosh Chodesh in, um, because it was the first month that the Jewish people were free from, from Egypt. Because of course, Nisan is when Pesach happened. So more on all of that in the coming weeks, but Shabbat Shalom, wishing everyone a great week and I will God willing see you next week.